Hi, my name is Kevin Laporte with LearnSBOM.com. Today, we'll be looking at the Cyclone DX plugin for Webpack. This plugin allows you to quickly generate Cyclone DX SBOMs for JavaScript, Angular, and React Webpack bundles. For specific version information, please refer to the plugin's GitHub page. Older versions can support Node.js 8 or higher and Webpack 4 or higher, so any versions above those should be fine. In today's demo, we'll be using the latest long-term support version of Node.js, the latest version of Webpack, as well as the Webpack example project found on their website. To get started, we're first going to open the command console and navigate to your project's directory. I've already done this on the left side of the screen here. Use the following command to download and install the latest version of the plugin. If you're using Yarn, uh, the syntax is very similar. Once the plugin is finished installing, we're going to add a line of code to our project. We're going to place this line of code uh, at the start of our index.js file. Ideally, you want to place it somewhere where your project is initialized. This line will generate our SBOM when it's compiled. Then we're going to add the following over on our our point here. We're going to be adding this to our config file. You can find these code blocks on the uh, the GitHub page um, for easy copy and paste. So we'll take this and we'll go back to our project. We're putting this into the webpack config JS file. Save that. Then we can simply save and compile the webpack. Over the command console. And that is way too many lines there. Copy that back over and there we go. This will save and compile our project. The plugin will generate a Cyclone DX SBOM in JSON and XML formats. By default, it will also generate a JSON SBOM of well-known components. You can find these in your project distribution directory. So up here we have our distribution directory. We have our SBOM for well-known components, as well as our JSON and XML SBOMs. There are a few options available for generating the SBOM. A full list can be found on the plugin GitHub page. We can set these in the WebPick pack config file. Uh, in this example, we'll be changing the Cyclone DX version, specifying a new output location, making the exact SBOM reproducible, and excluding the well-knowns. We will take that block of code, go back to our config file, and simply replace the options. Save that. Once we've tailored the settings to our needs, we can compile the webpack again. This will overwrite the previous SBOM unless we've specified a new output location. And in this case, we have. So we will run that again and compile a new SBOM. As you can see, we now have a new folder here, our new SBOM, which is what we specified. And when we open it up, we'll see we have Cyclone DX 1.2. The file format will probably be slightly different as well since we've made it reproducible. And you can compare this with the previous uh, SBOM, which is Cyclone DX 1.4. The Cyclone DX Webpack plugin allows for easy automated creation of Cyclone DX SBOMs. After the quick initial integration of the plugin, SBOMs will be automatically generated at compile time, sparing the developer from having to tediously write the SBOM themselves. Thanks for watching. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments section below, or reach out to us at learnsbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.